Romeo. Now I'm dressed just like a typical Kiwi shero. A singlet on top, so my arms aren't restricted. A pair of denim jeans, which are double lined on the inside of the leg. Now this just protects my legs against any thistles or thorns that happen to be in the wool. And these silly looking things on my feet, well they're what we call felt moccasins. They just give a shear a stability on a shearing board and they also help them move around their sheep just a little bit quicker. This here is what we call overhead motors. All New Zealand shearing sheds have them. They range from anywhere from a 3 stand up to around a 24 stand. These long dangly bits are what we call down tubes. This is where we connect our hand pieces to. The holes are what we call portholes. And these doors, they lead us to what we call catching pens and sheep. So I'll grab us a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a smile. Now you might notice she has no teeth on her top gum. She looks a bit like my grandma in the mornings. But she does have teeth on her bottom gum. So I can slide my finger into her mouth. She won't bite down on that. She would rather spit my finger out. Dirty finger, clean wool, great combination. Now a sheep shearer like myself will shear anywhere between 280 to 300 sheep in an eight hour a day. Now sheep shearers do not get paid by the hourly rate. We get paid by every sheep we shear, around $1.70 per animal. And these silly looking thing, this is what we call a handpiece, solid steel. It weighs just over one kg. A 13 tooth comb on the bottom, a four tooth cutter on top, which slides back and forth cutting that wall. Now the style of shearing that we're doing here this afternoon, it is called the Bowen Technique. Been around since the late 1950s and is now practiced right throughout the world. So, let's get a bit of this more.
a small sheep. How do you think she feels? A bit cold? A bit embarrassed? Well, the best thing I can do for her is stick her outside. She'll get a belly full of grass. That'll generate heat from the inside out. And also, in the next 12 hours, her skin thickness will double. Now, sheep, they have tendencies of bringing their legs back and it's hard to clean up under that foot. So when she brings it back, I apply a little bit of pressure and that leg will just pop out. Just like that. Same with the hind quarter. Bit of pressure, straight to the air. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Oh, then. Lanolin, very, very good for the skin. They're using a lot of hand creams. Lanolin, yes, very. That's right. It doesn't hurt it at all. No, no. It's a very important part of their life. She gets shorn twice a year. Lanolin, oil, yep. Me? 45 years old, 5 years from 50, I use it every day, very good. Where? All over. Uh -huh. It's very, it's made for cream. Yes. Right, we'll pop her away now and we'll see her in 6 months time. Yeah, she's been bitten by a dog and my comb has come over the scab and just nicked the scab off. Right, we'll stick her away. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Best shorn sheep I've shorn all week. <laughs>